Доброго дня! Hello everybody! Bonjour! My name is Sofia Fedorkova. It's a great honor for me to participate in the contest Open World Learning, which is dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the first Ukrainian settlement in Canada. In this video, I am going to share with you my overwhelming impressions about Paul Yuzik, one of the most honorable and longest-serving senator born of the Ukrainian pioneer settlers to be appointed to the Canadian Parliament. I was really stunned by Paul Yuzik's experience. They turned him down a different road, which consequently led to a highly astute academic career, a first role in the shaping of Canada's cultural character and a seat in the Senate. To be more precise, Paul Yusik became the first Ukrainian ever to be appointed to the Canadian Parliament's upper chamber. It should be stressed the Ukrainians that found their new homeland on Canadian soil, along with the representatives of other ethnic groups, have made momentous impact on the building of one of the most successful democracies in the world. Ukrainians have enriched cultural mosaic of the maple leaf country with their unique coloring. Not worthy, the Ukrainian-Canadian community ranks the third place after one in the Russia and the USA. Symbolically, the Ukrainian World Congress' top priorities are to promote Ukrainians' Euro integration and help Ukraine become the natural epicenter of Ukrainianism globally for the benefit of Ukrainians, both in Ukraine and abroad. According to Mr. Yuzik, the chief architect of multiculturalism, Canada could succeed in building a strong nation through adherence to the principles of confederation, concession, and unity in diversity. In his Maidan speech in 1964, brought in the Senate, Paul Yuzik predicted that. Canada would become a role model for other countries, faced with the challenge of integrating peoples of diverse faiths and cultures. In terms of his published contributions, his books, The Ukrainians in Manitoba, A Social History, For a Better Canada, Ukrainian Canadians, Their Place and Role in Canadian Life, earned him the respect and admiration all around the world. His vision of multiculturalism was equality, tolerance, multilingualism, and creed as integral qualities of all Canadians. His Ukrainian Canadians, their place and role in Canadian life was considered one of the best works on Ukrainians in Canada. In his Better Canada, he preached democracy and equality. Since Paul Yuzik was appointed the Senator of Canada, his striving was always to look ahead to new ventures, new horizons and new achievements to improve the quality of life and bring increasing happiness to Canadians of all origins. As a senator, Paul Yuzi continually represented Canada and its government in the international arena, including the sessions of the UN in 1963, 1975 and 1979. Between 1972 and 1985, he was a representative of Canada at nine sessions of the North Atlantic Pact. As I have already mentioned, there are many famous Canadians of Ukrainian descent that have made a remarkable contribution to Canada. Notably, in the area of government service, I will speak about Ramon Hanatation, who along with Paul Yuzi made Canada the most Ukrainian nation outside the Ukraine. In his address to chamber, Paul Yuzik, while reciting Caucasus in Ukrainian, again and again expressed his deep love and devotion to his nation's core values and identity. Не вмирає душа наша, не вмирає воля, і не сити не виуре на дні моря поля, не скоє душі живої і слова живого. Борітеся, поборете, вам Бог помагає. За вас правда, за вас слава і воля святая.